Hi, this is Miss Townsend and I love math. Welcome to Math with Townsend. This is the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative, question number 9. And before I go further, if you watched question number 8, you know that I'm experimenting with a new writing implement and it gets a little bit messy sometimes, so bear with me. Okay, on to question 9. It says find the equation of the line through the point A0 and the point 0B. Now we have done an awful lot of math this unit where I gave you two points and I said find the equation of the line. In fact, if you go back a couple questions, you'll see that I do exactly that in question number three. And in question number four, I do similar things. So this is the same question. I've given you two points. I want the equation of the line. And I realize, yes, these points don't have numbers, but they're still just points. So what do we do? Well, we always start with y equals mx plus b. And we know that to find the equation of a line, you need to find the slope and the y-intercept. Well, look at this. That's the y-intercept, isn't it? If x equals 0, this is your y-intercept. Isn't it convenient that it's also called b? Hmm. So I already have the y-intercept. Hooray! What I have to do, though, is I have to find slope. So how do you find slope? Well, I've given you two points. Two points means use the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So here's x1, here's y1. Here's x2, here's y2. So b minus 0 over 0 minus a y x y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so that's b over negative a and we never leave a negative in the denominator so there's my slope the slope and again yes it's letters it's still the slope so now i have slope and i have y intercept wow let's write the equation of this line so the equation is y equals slope times x plus the y-intercept. Oops, that's that crazy pen I talked about. Plus the y-intercept. That's it. That's the equation of the line. It might not be satisfying to you because there's no numbers, but that's the line. Now, that was a little fast, so let's, um, I don't know, let's put it in standard form. Maybe your teacher wants standard form. It's a good thing. So for me, you know that I like to get rid of my fraction. So I'm going to multiply everything by a. So I'm going to have ay equals negative bx plus ab. Multiplied everything by a. Then I need to move this and this so that they're on the left side of the fraction, of the equation, sorry. So positive bx plus ay minus ab equals 0. And that's standard form. Hmm. That's not bad at all. On the question, that was easy.